Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and currently I'm standing outside America's oldest seaside attraction. That's right, this is Lucy the Elephant, and we're in Margate, New Jersey, because for the first time in over a year, you can finally see Lucy. And boy, does she look beautiful. Let's go ahead and give you a tour of the outside and give you some history. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Plus a special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I can make fun videos like this. And if you too want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the link to the description below. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Lucy the Elephant was built in 1881, making it, yes, America's oldest seaside attraction. And it's funny because it was always built to be a seaside attraction. You see, there were developers that wanted to develop land just south of Atlantic City and wanted to come up with something very clever, something that would stand out and make people go, you know what, we should probably head down there and check out what's going on. So the developers took wood and tin and built a giant elephant right on the beach. And that's Lucy, our Lucy. And for those asking, yes, this is the original Lucy, but there has been a lot of work done to it over the years. In those 140 plus years, Lucy has been many different things, from a house to a tavern, and most recently, a museum. And you see there was a new foundation founded many years ago to help save Lucy because living at a shore town, you know, we get hit with some of the craziest weather from snow to most importantly, salt air, which eats away at many different things on a wooden slash tin object. The association went ahead and started fundraising for a massive restoration of Lucy. That project included the removal of the tin on the outside, the repair of any wood on the inside, and then a brand new special metal on top of it, which would withstand the harsh temperatures and weather that we have at the shore. Now, unfortunately, this project did fall behind schedule. The main reason for this delay is the same reason why many of the projects down here have been delayed, and that is the price of goods. In the past year, things had skyrocketed to a point where people had to stop doing their projects. And just like everything else, because of that, the price of this renovation went up. What really caused this project to balloon just over $1 million is the fact that when they were removing the tin, they found more damage with the wood than expected, which meant that more wood had to come down, they had to purchase more wood, and material costs went up. Ultimately, this project went over budget by $800,000. And while there are fundraisers and other events taking place, if you are interested in donating, I'll be glad to put a link in the description below. At the time of this video, Lucy's grand opening is only a few days away. And of course, me being me, I totally didn't look to see that they would not be open on a Monday. <laughs> but don't worry. I have the drone with me, so I figured I'll put the drone in the sky, or what we call the seagull in the sky, to give you guys a seagull's point of view of what Lucy looks like. Take a look.
did you guys think? I think Lucy looks absolutely amazing. And one thing, I didn't realize how big Lucy was. Trying just to film around this thing is so intense. I mean, look how massive. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And I do have to say, I've only been here for about an hour of filming. And even though Lucy's not open, I've counted over 35 cars. It just shows you that even on a day when it's closed, people love this elephant. Anyway, I'm Joey. As always, I'll see you on the beach, which is that way, but I have to go this way to go that way. I'll, I'll see you on the beach.